Welcome to another episode of Your Favorite Libertarian. I was really excited about this product when I first bought it, but now this episode is going to be about regrets. So this is the Condor, hold on, wait for it. Condor Back Draw Down Waste Pack Gen 2. Comes in a variety of colors. This one is in black. And I was really excited about this when I first got it because I thought I'll be able to kill two birds with one stone. I'll be able to have a fanny pack, which is really exciting and fun, especially for us dads. And I could also convert it into a drop down uh, hanger dangler of some sort for my chest rig, for my plate carrier, kill two birds with one stone. It's gonna be great. In theory, on paper, it was a good idea. <laughs> And it was only 30 bucks on Amazon. So those are the good things about it. We'll put it on the ground so I can give you a close-up view of this. And we'll talk about the cons that I found with this. Okay, so here we are. One of the things that I thought was going to be one of the pros to this is that it is also a fanny pack. But the problem is these straps. So these straps are really big and bulky, um, but they're also not very good at being straps. When I would walk, when I'd move around, I'd find that they'd do this and then they'd loosen or tighten on me, mostly loosen, which didn't work really well for these being straps. So let's talk about converting this to a dangler. Got this piece on the back here. You can put some secret stuff, documents, and what have yous. There's also that open. And you have these little Velcro straps that retain a bigger strap that aren't really needed because you have Velcro inside here, which I'll show you. But they're there. And then you unvelcro this. And you have Velcro on the main strap. And then you take this off. So there's Velcro on the back here. Get rid of that, because that's useless. And then take this panel, put it back here. And you now have the ability to dangle. Maybe a pro and a con to this is that it's very short. So a uh, pro is that if you need medical and this is what you're using for medical, you can rip it off really easily uh, because it's not going to be held on too well with this tiny bit of Velcro. You've seen uh, some of the things like the Spirit of System Sack or uh, Haley Strategic. Uh, what's theirs called? I think it's the Hanger version 2 is what they have out now. And that has like that much Velcro real estate. Real estate. So this is definitely not that. So you got the front pouch of it itself, and let's get to the the first <laughs> the first con in this section here: uh, the zippers, especially in this front pocket, because it has these things here to keep, I guess, water out of this compartment. It's really hard to get the zipper to work, and I don't know if that's because of the way that this opening is shaped, or if it's because of the Velcro piece inside, but, and it could just be the quality of the zippers, but the, the zippers are not good at all. You have this ID panel, which I guess if you are going from covert to overt and you want to have like, if you're police and you want to have say police here or sheriff or SWAT, I don't know why you'd be rocking around in a vanny pack and then um, on a SWAT raid, but I guess that's possible. So you have this here, uh, maybe for undercover people, I don't know. So you have this, it's good in the sense that it gives you finally somewhere to put something that's Velcro, but it kind of gets in the way in this main compartment. But I want to put like, uh, for instance, if I put chapstick in there and I try to get the chapstick, sometimes it'll go around the other side of this Velcro strap and I'll be fishing around just trying to get my chapstick out, which nobody wants that. That's not any fun. So that's the front pouch. Okay, let's talk about the main compartment. So you have this 
zipper again the zipper is not very good when it gets to the ends here it's really hard to get unzipped and zipped but once you look at the inside uh, there's not much room this is about maybe an inch deep and that's it <laughs> so if you look on the inside you can see uh, this is not actually loop velcro this is some type of felt material it's really soft but uh, that doesn't really help you when you're trying to put any type of Velcro attachments in here, like something to hold a holster or to hold and organize medical stuff. And then this side is just nylon. So one thing I thought when I ordered it was that I would be able to have Velcro accessories and I could easily put um, holsters and guns and medical and have that all organized in here. That's not going to be the case. This is just a place that you can put stuff and that's it and not a whole lot of space to do that in. So let's look at what we can put in here. So here we have some Fox chest seals, two of them here. These will pretty close to fit flush. Um, they might bend a little bit, but not bad. And then we have some Celox, hemostatic granules. Those will fit in there, no problem. We've got a SWAT T tourniquet. Throw that in there. And I also have some super absorbent crinkle super sponges. Those will fit in there, no problem. I don't even need to fold them. They're just folded from the last thing I had it in. And then some gloves. So that'll all fit, no problems but that's all you're getting in there. You probably won't be able to put a whole lot more medical equipment or first aid or IFAC stuff in here without uh, starting to stretch things and make it even harder to zip and unzip. So that's medical. Now let's talk about the firearms. This is a Glock 19. This is a Gen 4 I'll probably have a dedicated video on this, on all the things I've done to it, and the holster, and all that good stuff. But for right now, we just want to see if it fits. <laughs> so in the holster, this is a Tier 1 concealed holster. I'm going to see if I can slide this in. So that's a Glock 19, and it does not really fit at all. There's no way that I could zip this, force the zipper to close all the way. Now, if I... If I were to put this in like so, I could zip it that way, but you want to have something over the trigger guard. I could have it that way, um, but definitely not straight up and down if you want to mirror what you would do in a Penix scary. So that's mostly a no for the Glock 19. Then let's talk about something small. So here we have a Glock 43 with an extended magazine. Getting closer. Let's see if we can if we can force this to close. <sighs> yeah, that's not closing all the way, but it's better. Keep in mind though, when you draw this, you don't have anything catching the holster, so you're gonna pull the whole thing out and then have to pull the holster off. So just keep that in mind. Now, if you wanted to do something like put this in a pocket holster, that is doable. And this zips up, no problems. So if you want to carry a smaller gun and do that in a fanny pack, or if you just wanted to have a smaller gun on your chest rig or plate carrier, as this will attach to chest rig or plate carrier, that's an option for the size that it is and how thin it is it's very bulky and this is this is another con for me and here's why you have this big this big panel it's really thick and padded for some reason you have these things that don't really need to be here then on the inside you have this felt that isn't necessary i'd much rather have velcro 
And then you also have this front pocket that holds that Velcro panel. So altogether, it, I'm sure it would be very durable, but it creates a lot of bulk and at the sake of the interior space, which for me is more important to have that interior space so I can put more stuff in here. Also, another thing that I don't really like about it, which I didn't know before I ordered it, I thought I would like it, was the shape. So this shape here is great if you're shorter and when you put this on a plate carrier chest rig, it sits at the at or below your belt line because as you're running, your legs have room on both sides to move around and it doesn't get in the way. For me being 6'3", it doesn't really make a make a whole lot of sense for me to have one in this shape. I'd much rather have a rectangular prism of some sort so I can hold more stuff because this is sitting on my abdomen. It's not below my belt line when I put it on a plate carrier or a chest rig. So those are my first impressions on the Condor Back Draw Down Waste Pack Gen 2. There are some pros, but mostly cons. And that's just for me. That's my opinion, how I would use it, my build and height, and my storage needs, etc. Let me know if you disagree with me, please, in the comments below. And stay tuned because I have another dangler, or hanger if you will, that's coming. And it is very similar to the Spiritus Systems sack, but it is $19, I think, right now on Amazon. And that should be an interesting review. I'll also be ordering a couple other things similar to that, just to compare as I have a chest rig and I have a plate carrier. So I'll need one for both. And I'm gonna find out if I can essentially get two for the price of, or really three for the price of two, uh, when it comes to the Spirit of System stuff or the Haley Strategic stuff, or if it makes more sense for me to go with those for uh, the, the different features that some of them offer. If you like this video, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more videos. And as always, stay free.